how to never work again and still be rich hello everyone my name is Jalen Brunson and welcome to another beautiful video for my feminine goddesses out there and just anyone who's circling around that wants to live a delicious luscious life inside and out and also have a shit ton of money in the bank because why not <laughs> Today, we are going to be talking about how to never work a day in your life and what that really means and how to enjoy it and how to have your bank account overflow and how to increase your revenue and income like 10x, okay? Like, repeat this out loud, like put your hand on your heart right now. I get to literally change my financial situation. I get to receive an overflow in my bank account. I am clearing away any financial scarcity and lack in my lineage and ancestry now. All right, now that we're all on the right page, let's talk. So I've been feeling the vibe, I've been feeling your energy, and what I've been hearing over and over again is Jalen, I do not like work. I hate my job. I hate that I am not in alignment with my own time. I hate that I can't decide what I want to do at any time. I don't like what I'm doing and I don't like where I work. I don't like the people there. I'm just hearing a lot of, I don't wanna work, I don't wanna work, I don't wanna work energy. When I tap into the collective, that's what's on the, that's what y'all are talking about. And I want you guys to, you know, change your relationship with work. I want you to change your relationship with money money and I want you to be able to be attractive to the right jobs, money, situations that will allow you to be provided for by God, by the universe, so that you don't have to always struggle and hate what you do because fact of the matter is, life is so incredibly precious and we had a one in a trillion chance of existing so let's not live a life that we hate and let's try our best every single day to live a life that we love because every single day that we don't we are literally missing out on what we could be creating in our future and in our present and for context i've never had a job my entire life um, I've never been employed. I've never had a job. The only job I used to do before I was on social media really, you know, seeing a lot of growth was like Postmates and Uber Eats, <laughs> but I, that was still on my own time. I've always been an entrepreneur. I've always been a content creator. I made seven figures in my journey. It's been an amazing experience and I want to give that to every single one of you. The number one thing I want you to do is to monetize a passion. We have plenty of passions and some of them we can actually monetize and some of them we want to just leave to hobbies. But the ones that we are open to monetizing, we definitely should. I know society tells us that we shouldn't monetize it because that's going to take the fun out of it. But I don't think that has to necessarily be true. I think that if you find something that you genuinely enjoy, it genuinely turns you on. Even if it's not always easy, because let's be real, like I've been online for over a decade and I've been consistent and posting and there's ebbs and flows, but I wouldn't trade this for the world. It's almost like when you get married, like sometimes somebody's gonna be sick, sometimes things are gonna happen, but you guys are in it together. So I want you to write down a list of all the things that you enjoy, what things bring you to a state of joy, what things bring you to a state of turn on and bliss in your life. And then I want you to figure out different creative ways that you can monetize these things. Maybe it's creating an online course. Maybe it's coaching people on that particular topic. Maybe it's creating a product around that topic, a service around that topic. And if you need help with this, check out my ebook, Create Your Dream Business, to literally help you structure it out. And then I want you to write down next to those things the ones that you feel really really confident in so this could be a list of passions skill sets I want you to notice the things that stand out like what does your heart say and I want you to pick one and then I want you to monetize that in some way and if you're at a job right now it's okay you can still start 
something because think about it if i have a skill set and a passion for cooking or baking and i'm really really good at it i could literally create an online course or class that could teach people about how to do what i do so even while i'm at work my course and class is selling itself because i can run ads or i can do different things to make that happen number two be provided for ladies 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 yes i know we want to date and all these things but here's the thing you need to start being a little bit more selective about who you choose as your partner you need to date somebody who is a provider somebody who is interested in providing for his family for his woman who loves it that needs to be the main thing that you look for in a counterpart because here's the cheat code like as a beautiful woman you can literally date a guy who is a provider who values that and loves that energy and then at the same time you don't have to stress so much about your own personal finances you have shared resources shared income and at the same time you can have the time and space to monetize your creativity and not to do it from a state of stress or a state of i need to do this i need to do this which propels the money but doing it from a place of bliss because that's what you genuinely love and enjoy ladies like you need to make sure you value and date a man who is a provider and you know he's a provider based off of how he treats you his values his relationship with his mother and sisters and his family how he treats women in general does he solve your problems and make your life easier without you even really having to ask does he nourish you and like naturally want to support you this is something you want to look out for and literally invest in understanding how to attract that kind of guy it's a process that you have to go through because it's only a reflection of the relationship that you have within yourself do you feel like deep down inside you're worthy of being provided for or do you feel like you only deserve little your life and your reality will tell you exactly how you feel about yourself you need to do the inner work um, I have plenty of courses that can help you goddess of word how to date a king so I can see yourself seduction even Check those all out in the description or just check out the bundle. Do the inner work. Start asking yourself deep reflections like how do I feel about myself? Do I feel worthy of being provided for? What was my relationship like with my father? All of those important questions you wanna ask yourself. And number three, the key to not being able to work and to get out of the matrix is to learn how to invest your money. We monetize a passion that we love and enjoy and we start either with a side hustle or a full on career or even if you have a job, you're doing something that you like and enjoy. You wanna always choose jobs and select ways of being that are going to be able to bring that wealth towards you and to increase your overall sense of joy. Invest the money that you make. So I know it's so, so, so easy in the society to make money and then literally spend all our money and do paycheck to paycheck. I want you to start really saving money and investing the money that you save. I personally believe in having a savings account. I know people hate savings accounts, they're like, oh, it doesn't matter. But for me, having a savings account, having gold, having silver, like having that energy of knowing that I'm grounded. I have things in the bank. I got money always somewhere, somewhere, no matter what, right? That makes me feel safe and secure. And you want to do that. But then once you have a savings account and you have assets and resources, you want to start even investing your money, even if it's a little bit. Investing and having an investing mindset is so, so important. So you're not just letting your money just sit and stack, but also you are investing the money that you're making. And that's how you can be able to have a job, but then also have passive streams of income that you're building over time and this is just a bonus tip that i'm feeling in this moment as i'm really connecting to you ladies remember that everything in front of you is the direct reflection of your inner reality so if you are at a job or work that you don't like how can you change the vibration of that job? How can you change the vibration of your work? Can you still seem to find something to be grateful for even at your job? Can you still send good messages and intentions to your coworkers, to your manager? Regardless, can you meditate on good, positive, happy things? In, your, in the workplace and for your people. Can you see it as a blessing to even have a job and to even be able to live 
at all and to be able to pay your bills in a place where literally there's people right now who are begging for jobs and begging for the ability to just be able to pay any and everything in different places in different countries people want to be in the position you're in and if you space out you can see in this moment how you are blessed if you can find the small blessing even in a job that you can't that you cannot stand then you will attract opportunities even from that job that will catapult you into the next level of success you will attract the right clients you will attract people who will tip you more you will attract all kinds of things the moment that you shift your vibration and reality and see the best in every single moment yeah ashe try your best to get the most out of the place you are right now in life and that is the key to gratitude and happiness which that vibration will attract so much money so much wealth and people will even be more likely to want to help you and to support you your vibe will carry you well and you will stand out but if you believe that i'm not going to do anything extra because i'm not going to be a kiss ass the boss doesn't like me anyway all these customers suck that's exactly what you're going to get all right and i know that's a hard pill to swallow but try your best do it for you do it because you're building your own sense of discipline for yourself for your future business those same skill sets that have discipline devotion and showing up no matter what no matter what you do that's going to apply to different areas of your life and the other thing that i'm getting right now make sure you have a clear financial goal know how much money you want to make let's say if you want eight thousand dollars a month how many products would you have to sell to make that happen how many services would you have to sell to make that happen and how could you actually make that happen? I've helped several people hit six figures, seven figures at the Rich Goddess Inc. Our mentorship and our program and our services literally will help support you when it comes to making your own business. So if you are ready to invest in yourself and you want someone who understands you spiritually and mentally and practically, then definitely check out the Rich Goddess Inc. and the Rich Goddess Mentorship Services down below. But I love you so much and sending you all kinds of abundance and prosperity. Ashe.